Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you stopped by today. My name is Marissa and today we are just going to spend a little bit of time in my garden. Having a garden is something very new to me. Um, I've always wanted to do something like this but I never really had the time or the know-how to do it or and I never took the time to know how to do it um, but I've recently found myself with some extra time on my hands due to some health issues and so I've researched it and it started out as a tiny container garden on my back porch but then I talked to my father-in-law about it and he got me excited and I and that I wanted a outside garden I wanted something bigger than just a few containers on my back porch and so that's where this came from so on this afternoon I was um, planting a couple of pepper plants and um, sowing some radishes and I can't remember what else I was doing but I'll I'll let you know as we come to it but um, I, I killed some not all of my pepper plants that I had planted first and probably for two two things contributed one I planted them too early and the cold temperatures they, they didn't do well and then I saw some some kind of fungus on them and I looked it up and it said you know sprinkle the baking soda around the bottom which is what I did but apparently I got some on the leaves because the next morning those leaves were black and slimy and so um, right there I was getting a close-up look at my cucumbers because the birds keep getting my cucumbers and my strawberries and my watermelons anyway so I bought a couple of um, pepper plants to replant in in the garden something that has surprised me about this number one I'm super super terrified of spiders it doesn't matter how little it is I am terrified of spiders and I just generally do not like bugs and so that's kind of a reason that I haven't done this before but I was really excited about this and I prayed and I asked God to help me and so far I have just I mean I've seen the spiders I've not gone crazy um, I've not had any <laughs> scream and run moments so I really feel like God is helping me with that and um, yeah it's it's I know it's still coming and I, I know that I, I'm gonna come across big spiders but hopefully when that time comes I'll hand I will handle it with grace <laughs> Right now, I'm just trying to get those um, dead pepper plants out of the garden, and I'm putting the new ones in. I've planted the radishes in two different spots, and just pulling some weeds and cleaning some things up. Here in a little bit, I'm going to give you a close-up tour of everything, and you can kind of see what I've planted and how things are going so far. But right here, I am staking up the zucchini. Um, I've looked at how to grow it vertically and since I don't really have a lot of space out here in the garden I'm very excited to see how this works and um, I think I think it's I mean so far it looks like it the pictures and things that I've seen and um, I'm just you know, I'm just excited that this stuff is growing you know if I get one cucumber or one carrot or you know I think I'll I think I've won the lottery <laughs> Okay, just a quick little tour. Down here are the cu uh, cucumbers. I have a couple of sunflowers. I just put some radishes down there, and you probably can't see them, but there are some um, shallots. I have carrots, and one of those, this one right here is an ancho an, um, poblano an ancho pepper. More carrots, 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 and these are the jalapeno. I have marigolds because somebody told me that would help with snakes. So far, so good. Um, right here, I have hmm, green onions, celery, more marigolds. I just put the. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I didn't do very well with that. I just put the um, sweet onions there. I mean, not onions peppers and these are my walla wallas more carrots these carrots are different from that kind i know that those are the fingerling 
but I can't remember what these are. And then sugar snap peas, zucchini. Those are the two cucumber. Let me get over here because I want you to see the watermelon. These are just some flowers, wildflowers, sunflowers, daisies. Whoops. Okay. These, I hope you can see on my, these are my um, watermelon plants that the birds have feasted on. And so I don't know if they're going to make it or not. We'll see. Uh, here are my beans. And then look at this, if I can do this without falling. Look, it's my sunflower blooming. I hate that the leaves are all holy. But yay. This is my strawberry patch. I had ordered 10 root things, I don't know what you call them, from um, Grow Joy and planted them. And the 10th one right there I'm pointing in the middle, it, it started to take off, but then the birds got it. And then the ninth one, the birds, I mean, I can't even find where that one was planted. I think they took it up all together and ran with it. But I'm hoping these eight that are doing well will spread their little tentacle thingies and I'll have a big harvest next year. So right now I'm, I'm tasting my um, green leaf lettuce because the first leaves I pulled off were very, very bitter. But these had, you know, I let them grow some more and... I guess that's what I was supposed to do because these tasted really well and I was really good. I was so excited. <laughs> so these are my tomatoes. I did not uh, label which one is which because I thought when they start blooming, I don't know. So I have no clue, but I know what kind I have. This is my spinach. Yes, it's going to seed. Now, can I just rip that up and plant more in there? Because I did eat some of it. It was really good. Kale. I've never grown kale. I've never, well, I've never grown anything except for my children. But is it, I mean, is it time to harvest that and it'll keep growing? I need to research. There's my leafy lettuce. I have some black seed lettuce there. It did not take. So I may end up putting pumpkins in there. I'm going to have to research if pumpkins are okay in grow bags. Here's my potatoes. Huge. That's actually just three bags. Three 10 gallon grow bags. That may seem look right to you, but to me it's wow. Um, and then here I've got, oh, you know what? I want to put some more um, sunflowers in there too. I just have wildflowers, wildflowers and daisies in that one. And over here, the uh, when we put our makeshift fence up there were little holes down there that rabbits and things could get through so we put those um, uh, center blocks and then some plants that i have left over i thought well, let's just see what i can do they don't look good i don't know if they're gonna do anything we'll see i've got peppers and daisies i think in there and then right here on the end are my sweet potatoes i know i've messed those up but it is what it is at this moment We'll see what I get from it. I put too many of those, what are they called? Sweet potato slips, is that what they're called? Anyway, I planted too many in those two bags. Bags, what's what happens? All right, I'm going to put some, what did I just say? Clarence, help me remember what I just said. Sunflowers, I'm gonna put some sunflowers in there. Let's turn you around so you can guard this. You're supposed to be keeping the birds out. Do a better job. To say that I am really enjoying this experience really doesn't um, convey how I feel about this garden. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. I can remember helping uh, my couple of my grandmothers, not really helping, just really hanging out in their gardens with them when they would work it. And as we, when we were little kids and um, as I grew up, I just, I've always, I don't know, I haven't had the time, you know, um, when your kids are growing up and into sports and all those things, you know, that, that, that takes a lot of your time. And then once my kids graduated high school, I had this catering hobby and it kept me so busy. And that was a lot of hard work. 
but I got sick a year and a half ago and things changed. I wasn't able to do the catering anymore. And last summer I started canning and loved it, still love it. And so this year I wanted to grow my own things to can. And so I'm praying, I'm praying for a big harvest. I'm not as hands-on with the garden as I want to be. I am just physically not able to do that. And um, so I have to plan my time out to be able to come out here and, you know, do the weeding and stuff like that. And, you know, when the harvest comes in, I may get overwhelmed. I mean, in my mind, getting overwhelmed with the harvest is a good thing. You know, I would love a big bounty. And um, when that time comes, I know that I have plenty of helpers that'll you know, help me take care of it. And uh, so I'm not too worried. And I'm just, I'm just really enjoying this experience. I just want to thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me in my garden today. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Um, and also, if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Bye.